Hello all, we recently received some requests to demo how to uh, mesh some different panels and connect them together with coincident mesh. Uh, with the previous versions, what we generally did was to, starting from CAD uh, solid panels, we extracted the mid surface, did cross extend in order to connect the panels together and then run the mesh. Let me show you how we can do it with uh, the part browser workflow. As a starter, let me go to the assembly match, select all my parts and detect similar parts. You see that the algorithm finds, uh, in my case, uh, two side panels being similar and front and rear panel being similar. Uh, there will be some performance benefits for it, uh, typically because we won't mesh uh, the two parts, we will just mesh one instance and we will apply the same mesh on the two parts. Let me now select all my parts, uh, make sure that all are saved with a CAD representation. So right click, representation, save. Uh, this step may be necessary if you're using flat geometry formats such as IGS uh, or uh, step file. If you're using JT, CAD, or uh, CATIA, sorry, or Parasolid, then yes, yeah, this should be done by default. Now that all my parts have uh, a CAD representation, and also one point I want to mention, they have a PDM material attribute. And if you look at my model right now, I do not have any material. So let me come back to the material browser, right click, representations, create and select to crash 5 mm. Doing so, what happens in the background is HyperMesh is sending uh, each part as a separate HM file to batch measure. And batch measure will be able to handle each one separately. You can, by the way, in some uh, configurations file specify how many calls you want uh, batch measure to be allocated in order to improve further the performances. While batch measure is running, uh, you can go in HyperMesh and continue to proceed, uh, import new parts, uh, creating new geometries or whatever. Uh, you have full control on HyperMesh. The moment when batch measure will complete, you will just see a pop-up from uh, back in HyperMesh saying, hey, batch measure is complete. Do you want to uh, load the representation uh, into your model. So here it should be there now. So batch measure successfully completed. Do you want to load the new representation for the six parts? Yes. So now I have my six representation. If you look at them, <coughs> they are not connected together. So next step is to connect them together and we can do it through the connectors. I will go to auto line first to detect all the areas where I need to stitch them. Next step is to go to controls and to set a connector type stitch in order to connect my... Uh, let's call it stitch equivalence for the purpose of the demonstration change the tolerance here, it was just a full test. And what is important for this stitch is to check the retain node options. Uh, please do not forget to do it, otherwise uh, you may have uh, unexpected results because it will rely on the hard uh pitch value here, on the pitch value above, I mean. Now that I've done this, I can select my connectors. So let's move my uh, idle mode to connectors. You see that the control uh, the entity editor uh, populates the connector attribute. I will change the connector control to be the stitch equivalence. And now, while my connectors are still connected, right click, realize. Now I can escape, go back to parts to have the different preview, and at the glance, uh, the Different parts seems to be connected together. Let's go to validate in order to review the equivalence. Select all elements. 
review no not to equivalents so within a couple of minutes close to five minutes i was able to get all my mesh done and connect it together and cherry on the cake as i defined the pdm attribute uh, i have also a material created uh, I have also my properties with my sickness, with, which comes from uh, my, which have been computed uh, from the solid. The only thing to take care about here is the material is created with some dummy attributes. If you look at the material, uh, dummy being default attributes here, so generally still, which is good for this case, but not always the case. At any time, you can right click to your material and you can load either from Altair Material Data Center or from your Altair library, assuming you previously saved some materials into your material library. Hope that helps. See you later.